And happening at the General Assembly right now, state senators are meeting to take their first vote on the proposed $22.3 billion state budget. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with a closer look at what's inside the budget. Bo? Sean, this budget proposal means an across-the-board spending increase for the state. It also includes an average 4.7% pay raise for teachers. There's also a pay raise for state employees, but some say it doesn't go far enough. There's a problem in this state with regard to the treatment of public employees. For months, state employees and state retirees have kept a close watch on the state budget negotiations, wanting to know if they'd get any extra money. Now that the budget proposal is out, they know the answer. State employees have fallen behind so much over the last six years that we were certainly hopeful they could make up some ground. They're not making up near enough in this budget. State workers will get a 1.5 percent pay increase plus a half percent bonus. They're also is money set aside for merit raises. State retirees get a one-time 1.6% bonus. That does not include a cost of living increase. There's a lot of state employee uh, retirees out there that they're just struggling. We talked by phone with a state retiree from Rowan County who told us the bonus is helpful, but in the long run, retirees likely won't see much of a net positive as the cost of their health insurance is going up. The cost for retirees is going up. Inflation is going up. Over the last 12 years, uh, retirees have gotten less than a 2% uh, in, in cost of living adjustment. You've got different needs and you've got to be, I think, responsible. Uh, you just got to manage these budgets and you got to control growth. Republican Senate budget writer Harry Brown says the budget is fiscally responsible and he believes state employees and retirees will be pleased with what they see. Those who have concerns say... I think the state employees and the retirees need to make their voices heard. And the Senate is in session right now as we speak, and they are supposed to take up their first vote on the budget tonight. By the end of the week, both the House and Senate are both expected to formally approve this budget. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.